Welcome! You guys may know, I always try to encourage people to get on the road on a motorcycle. It's a lot of fun. And one of the best ways that I know of that I can do that is to try to eliminate the fear of taking the first step. It was, it was a fear that I held for a long time. Taking the basic rider training class and getting my first motorcycle was scary because there's all these all these stories about people getting hurt and injured and it's so difficult and then you get that fear of like when you're in the road what do I do what if I stole my motorcycle at a red light or something like that and uh, yeah so today I want to try to go through some of the steps that will that you will learn at the basic rider training class so that when you see this and you go wow that's so easy I could do that then you're more likely to go out there and do it <laughs> I want you guys to get on the road and I want you guys to tell me about it down in the comments below all right but before we get into it I gotta tell you about the sponsor of today's video gas and my wallet I'm just kidding I have no sponsors I need to get gas for both my bike and myself all right you guys it looks promising so if you guys have been here for a while you probably do know that I have made a video similar to this but it was like one of my very first videos uh, since then I, I mean it has gotten buried and like disappeared because just the nature of, of YouTube but since then I have attracted quite a few people to my channel that have been telling me that they really would like to get a motorcycle and there's been a few people who have been saying that you know they're worried about it they're uh, just nervous about the unknown I mean you're putting your life on the line in a way uh, when you when you step your leg over one of these things but I just want to try to encourage those people to give it a try to show them that it's not as difficult as they may think it is so um, in in uh, tradition to the previous video <laughs> I'm back here at the exact same parking lot that I did the first one so are you guys ready for this I'm gonna do my best I have like 50 some odd videos uh, where I just ramble too much so I'm gonna try to make this one as clear and consistent and and easy to understand as possible so are you ready I'm just kidding all right you guys so here we are you're a beginner rider. If you clicked on this video, maybe you're a beginner rider. Maybe you haven't started riding yet. Let me open my visor. It's hot out here. <laughs> um, but there's a chance that some of you guys may be uh, nervous or afraid to take the first step. And a big part of that fear, and I'm speaking from experience because I went through this too, and every single one of us does, a big part of the fear is just not knowing. And I remember before I went and took the, the rider safety class to get my endorsement and get my motorcycle, one of the things that I did was I spent months and months and months watching YouTube video after YouTube video after YouTube video. And it was all stuff like how to shift the motorcycle, how to turn, how not to stall the motorcycle, things like that. Um, I want to cover in as best detail as I can and as easy to follow as I can all of those things I want this video to hopefully be the reason you guys say oh my gosh it's not that difficult I'm gonna get on the road and if you do like I said before let me know about it in the comments below I want to hear about it and especially if you guys start moto vlogging I want you to tell me about it because I would love to support you so let's start with the basics we're talking about controls here now what I want to do is I'm gonna come back over here and I'll look at the bike from here all of your stopping and going 
is going to be over here. And this is for most bikes. I know there's probably some customs and some special things where they got the, you know, the, all, yeah. There's some special things out there. But for most bikes, all of the stop and go is on this side of the bike. All of the shifting and clutch control, anything related to shifting, is on this side of the bike. And it's that simple. So, what we have here, before I even talk about going, we're going to talk about stopping. Because if I teach you how to go and I don't teach you how to stop, you guys are never going to stop and I might not ever see you again. So, up here, on your right hand, this is your front brake. It's not like a bicycle. On a bicycle, this is your back brake and this is your front brake over here. No, this is your front brake. If you ride a bicycle around a lot, you might think, oh yeah, I'm just going to squeeze this in. If you guys do that, you're going to fly off the front of the bike. Don't do that. So this front brake, we're talking here. And then your foot, right there, if you could see my foot, this is controlling the back brake. Now you want to be careful with this one. If you push this one down a lot, you can lock up your back. Same thing with this one. If you squeeze it a lot, you can lock it up. So the general rule of thumb, especially when you're beginning and getting comfortable with the bike, is do everything gently. It is not that hard to do. Trust me. <laughs> so let's move over to this side here. Over here, we've got our clutch. Ding, ding. There is what is called a friction zone when you squeeze in a certain amount and i will explain this in more detail later when we get to it there will be a part where your clutch disengages and you're just coasting freely and then there's a spot which you can make adjustments to and again i will show you guys uh where the clutch will start to re-engage and if you're gentle in that spot it'll re-engage nice and smooth and then you have the clutch fully engaged just like when you're driving a car that's a manual transmission it's, but you just do it with your foot instead down here the scary dreaded shifting knob looks a lot like the brake on the other side so this one is a little bit confusing i'm not going to go into too much detail about this but on a motorcycle in order when, when you say you're at neutral it's right here. Look at my fingers. You got neutral? First gear is below it. You push it down like this. Push on there. First gear is below it. Second gear is above neutral. Pow! Like that. So you got neutral here. First gear, boom, down here. And it'll naturally just kind of back to normal. And then there's a half click which puts you back into neutral, and then the full click up, which puts you into second. And then from there, as you're shifting, it's just a full click up. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And you wanna go back down. Fifth, fourth, third, second, uh-oh. It'll have a half click, half click is neutral, full click is first. First is underneath. It goes first, neutral, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. It's a little bit confusing, but I promise you in practice, it is actually really easy. We're going to only worry about first and second today, so we're going to have the first, neutral, second. And when you guys are starting, don't worry about the rest. Get some practice in. I mean, unless you do have to get the bike to the, to the parking lot, but if you can ride a bike in a parking lot where you don't have to worry about any cars coming and going and things like that, don't worry about third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Just worry right now first neutral and second yeah i know that this probably sounds scary but i promise you in practice it's not going to be scary so now i want to talk about saddling your iron horse i want to show you guys the proper way to do this and yes there is an improper way to do it <laughs> what you want to do when you're getting on your bike is to get on the side with the kickstand. Trust me. You get on the side, you grab your handlebar, and then you swing. I can't do this while looking at it. Swing your leg over it. And then you can just balance the bike between your legs. And I can sit down on it. If the bike is too tall for you, then this might be difficult. 
and it's a good idea when you're starting to make sure you find a bike that you can sit with this foot and this foot flat on the ground <laughs> it's important because there's going to be times when you come up to a red light or a stop sign or something like that and you're going to want to be able to just sit comfortably and these things may be like 300 400 pounds or something like that but i promise you it's not that bad i can stand up so i'm standing up and it's freely sitting underneath my legs like this and i'm wobbling this thing back and forth like crazy and i don't feel like i'm gonna fall over it's not that bad they are heavy but their weight is balanced it's it's nice <laughs> so uh up here on the handlebars we've got a few more a few more controls it looks like a spaceship so first off we've got our key and of course right now i'm on off if you push down on this thing and you turn it back even farther there's a lock which i need to turn my handlebars first there's a lock and when that's not locked you cannot turn your handlebars now i know a lot of people say well all you have to do is just crank on it and you can break that lock but still if you're parking it it's a good idea to lock it because adding any extra step for somebody to steal the bike makes them less likely to steal it so lock your forks i had my bike stolen i got it back uh, luckily, but I did have to repair it. Um, but lock your forks. I didn't lock it. So they didn't have the key, but all they had to do was go like this and walk away. So lock it. Important. All right. Key goes back in. We're going to press on. Pew, look at that. Lights up. The dash lights up. How to start your bike. All right. You've got a kill switch here. When it's up like this with the X, it means no. <laughs> all right <laughs> so no cycling so you just got the little circle no cycling cycling no cycling cycling all right cycling hasn't started yet what happened my bike's dead <sighs> okay you guys vi video's over i'm just kidding it's not dead you have to press the ignition switch ta-da All right, you want to turn it off now, right? No cycling. It's off. Ta-da! And then, of course, you could turn the key off if you want to. One thing to know, there, there are two ways you could do this. You can start it with it in neutral like I just did. Or you could start it in first. But if you want to start it in first, you have to have the clutch engage, or disengaged. You have to pull the clutch lever in. Also, you cannot be in first with the kickstand down. It will not work. And I'll show that to you. Watch this, okay? I'm in first. Uh, I'm not in first right now. I'm going to pull up the kickstand. I'm going to go down. Push down first, remember? Push down. First gear, right? I'm going to start my bike. Clutch pulled in. Alright, now I'm going to be careful with this because, I, I don't know, watch what happens when I put the kickstand down. The bike turns off. You cannot be in first gear with the kickstand down. Why? Because they don't want you to do something dumb. <laughs> so, kickstand up. I'm in first. Again, you could do that. Clutch has to be in. But if you want to do your half click up to neutral, watch this watch this you see oh hold on i gotta get back i gotta there we go i had to roll a little bit so watch this see how see my foot you see my foot half click just a little click neutral just a little click up you very neutral i can let go of this i can start the bike and it's okay so controls up here this is how you turn the bike on and like i said front brake back brake Clutch control, shifting. Gear choices are on this side. The stopping and going is on this side. So, what's next? Uh, you have your basic stuff. You got a horn. Right? Yay, horn. You got turn signals. Click left. Left. Click right. Right. If you want to turn it off, you have to push. Push. 
it's off don't forget because i have ridden for miles <laughs> with the turn signal on people don't know what to do they're like okay is he changing lanes i don't know don't forget to turn off your turn signals it's okay this right here high beams low beams boom boom on these bikes um well at least on the older bikes like my old r6 somebody used to always think that one of my lights was turned off because the low beam was one headlight and the high beam was both headlights and they're like you have a burnt out light and i'm like no it's just the low beams anyways this one right here is your hazards ta-da it's a toggle you want to turn it off press it again that's it all right we have discussed controls all right let's get into the fun stuff this is the fun stuff so bikes around hold on a second it's hot and i need a break <laughs> just kidding all right so there's going to be a few jumps here and there because it's hot i need to take my helmet off and take a little break but that's okay uh, <laughs> I told you guys to get on the bike from the side with the kickstand and I do want to I want to emphasize this because I had somebody move my bike feet before like just in the garage and they moved it wrong there's an airplane United okay um, and so what they did was they they the bike was turned off here let me turn it off and they moved it from this side, the side that doesn't have the kickstand. And, and they pick the bike up and they move. And while they're moving, they don't know that something hit the, the kickstand, flipped it up. And they're moving, they're moving, they're moving. And then they go to set it down. Oh, wait a minute. It's not sitting down. And then they drop it. And it is a very, very, very real thing. And it's really annoying. So avoid moving the bike from this side if possible and avoid saddling the bike from this side if possible just this is just weird yes you can do that and it's mostly safe but it's just weird it's leaning over this way it's comfortable especially if you've never done this before and you're just getting used to it it's just so much easier to just sit on it from this side and these things are i mean these kickstands are pretty pretty strong check this out Hopefully it doesn't break on me while I'm explaining this. So I'm going to put this foot, this foot's up, and then this foot's going to come up. So now, I'm just sitting on the bike with the kickstand, which is kind of cool. Yeah, see, they're pretty strong. They, they look kind of flimsy, but they're pretty strong. So let's get into riding. I think that's what you guys are here for. <laughs> Pow! Okay. We're going to be riding now. Remember, again, we're going to cycle. Not no cycle. We want cycle. I'm in neutral. I still will hold the clutch in when I start it, even if I'm in neutral. It's a really good idea to just get used to when you're not moving, having the clutch in. Okay? And anytime you let go of the clutch, even if it's turned off, just get used to a very nice, gentle clutch release. You don't want to... You don't just... Don't just go... Poof, because... You might accidentally be in first and it'll go and it'll stall your bike and you know and then you'll have to do whatever. So let's turn it on. Alright. So when you take your basic rider training class or whatever class you're gonna do, or if for some reason your state doesn't require you to do a class, and so you're just throwing your leg on this, you're like, yeah, I bought it, got my endorsement. Um you're you're probably gonna not be familiar unless you've ridden dirt bikes or quads or something with how the uh, throttle works and how the clutch works and how sensitive it is now I'm on a Ninja 650 it is probably my most highly recommended bike for new riders because of how easy it is to work with and how forgiving it is it doesn't just it, it, it's, it's still sensitive but it's not as bad so you can make uh, minor like blips on accident and let go of the clutch a little bit a little bit too fast not too fast but just a little bit too fast and it won't really matter that much but what i want to do right now is explain to you guys how i learned how to ride the bike like comfortably 
like with my feet off the ground and everything I'm gonna go through the steps and this is something I think I think everybody should start this way this is really cool uh, it, and it doesn't matter if it's you know dirt bikes uh, or motorcycle street bikes or whatever if, if it's your first time you don't want to have what they call whiskey throttle and what happens is First of all, everybody sees motorcycle, and, and if you tell somebody, pretend like you're on a motorcycle, if you wash their hands, they're, if they're going to go like this, and they're going to have their wrists forward, like this, and then they're going to go back, right? But they always have the tendency of starting wrist forward. One thing that you need to, when you're beginning is learn to start with your wrist backwards a little bit and the reason is it's a little bit uncomfortable but the reason is if the bike scares you and you tense up see how see how if if i'm like this and i tense up you see what i mean you tense up and you and you throttle and then the bike goes vroom, and you lose it if you're like this and you tense up you're twisting the throttle off all right so get you know get used to having your arm your hand down like this for a while while you're beginning but the very first thing has nothing to do with the throttle check this out i'm gonna show you guys how to ride a motorcycle the easiest possible way ever i'm gonna pull the clutch in i'm gonna go down into first gear now watch this I'm gonna I'm gonna try to hold here ish or whatever so I'm not using the throttle at all I do want to have my hand here but I'm just gonna gently actually I'm not even gonna touch it I'm gonna I'm gonna walk with it how about this I'm just gonna gently find that friction zone I was talking about all of a sudden the bikes moving oh my god I'm a tense up I'm getting scared <laughs> look at this I'm walking, I'm walking. If you want to slow down, pull the clutch back in. Ooh, walk too fast, pull the clutch in. All right, see see this? I'm just walking, 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 walking. Easy, easy. All right, we're gonna let go again. The bike goes. And then you can lift your feet up. And check this out. I'm riding without even using the throttle. And now you can't get scared and you can't whiskey throttle because you have no throttle. You want to slow down? Pull the clutch in again. Let it coast. All right. I'm going to let it go again. Look at this. Wow. No throttle at all. No throttle at all. I got to figure out what these guys are doing. There's some company here. It looks a little sketchy, but that's okay. All right, you guys. I'm getting hot. The camera's getting hot. So <laughs> I'm going to try to wrap this little bit up again. Let's just do a little... A little uh, review of what we said I don't really know right now where the camera cut off but it did overheat so we're gonna just do this one more time here um, I'm in neutral right now I'm gonna plop it down into first gear we're gonna push down and I'm not even gonna touch the throttle we're just gonna let the clutch out find that little friction zone where it starts to pull the bike and we're just gonna stay there don't go farther yet we're gonna walk with the bike, walk with the bike, walk with the bike. And then when you feel comfortable, you can start to lift your feet off the ground. Ta-da! Ah, I'm riding a bike. Lift your feet off the ground and you can slowly let go of that clutch. Don't do it too fast. Just slowly let go of the crutch. And then you can just turn. And I would say you could do this and learn your lefts and rights and turns and stuff. Ta-da. It's so easy. So easy. Do a little figure eight. I've got these cool little islands with trees and stuff like that. That I can do little figure eights around. And I'm not touching the throttle at all. So you don't have to. You don't have to have that whiskey throttle. I mean that was a thing I was always afraid of. I was afraid I was going to be that person that accidentally pulled the... The throttle and lost the bike easy don't even have to touch it so it's really really simple guys I really hope this is encouraging I really hope this is encouraging so what I'm gonna do 
I'm gonna try to do this quickly because this is a long video um, I just gonna talk about the basics of, of shifting in this video and I guess if somebody requests it then I can come back and do something more but before we start shifting what I want you guys to get in the habit of is pulling the clutch in before you stop because that's really important otherwise you're like I'll show you if I'm going and I try to stop it doesn't stop it wants to keep going my bike's fighting me it's shaking ah, it's angry you don't want to do that every time you're gonna stop you need to pull the clutch in so getting used to that friction zone is really important too because what we're gonna do here on the next turnaround is we're gonna we're gonna give it a little bit of throttle and then we're gonna pull the clutch in and remember like I showed you before second is up so we're gonna pull the clutch in and then we're gonna go into second and then we're gonna slowly let out the clutch and keep going you ready we're going clutch is in up into second if you can see it we're in second and then slowly let out while you're letting out give it a tiny bit of throttle you hear my throttle just a little bit feather out feather out feather out seconds gonna be a lot faster don't get too scared you can always pull the clutch in and stop seconds gonna be a lot faster and on some bikes most bikes you can still ride around in second so you don't have to worry about immediately going back into first like I'm riding in second you just got to be gentle with the clutch be gentle with the clutch a lot of this coasting my clutch is in I could in second I could feather out but the bike doesn't like that too much in second so when you feather out you want to give it just a little bit of throttle you hear that you can hear when the clutch hits you can hear when the clutch hits and then I can let go of the clutch completely gently slowly guys slowly and you can ride around in second and you can do the same thing when you guys want to go back down into first so I'm gonna go around this corner I'm gonna slow down pull the clutch in hold the brake I'm gonna slow down I want to go back into first now you're gonna push all the way down push all the way down into first slowly let the clutch out and give it a little bit of throttle oh my gosh uh, it's so scary uh. all right you guys it's a cool little thing you can practice it go clutch up into second a little bit of throttle feather out the clutch I want to slow down pull the clutch in pull the brake gently pull the brake don't do it too hard I'm not even touching my foot brake I'm doing it all up here oh no I'm going too slow for second down into first nope I hit neutral darn it go down into first and give it a little throttle when you let go of the clutch this time all right the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to avoid stalling at a red light so I can eliminate that fear too because that's what we're doing here we're eliminating fear check this out if I'm in first and I let go of the clutch without giving any throttle if I'm too fast oh man we went almost down to 1000 rpm you get any lower than that eventually your bike's gonna go and you're gonna stall and that's what happens why do people stall at red lights when they're new is because they don't give it any throttle and they let go of the clutch too fast you can like I showed you you can let go of the clutch real slow and start moving but when you're on the road somebody behind you is gonna be like okay come on go 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 move 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 so you want to be able to get in the habit of starting a little bit quicker and how do we do that it's simple remember how we went into second gear we gave it a little bit of throttle and then feathered out the clutch do that here you stop give it just a little bit of thr throttle look how okay look how sensitive this is I'm barely moving can you see this very sensitive so be careful give it just a little bit of throttle while you feather out your clutch sounds so much happier clutch in slow down wow wait a minute this ain't so scary feather the clutch out with a little throttle wow oh 
clutch in, slow down. Wow, feather the clutch out with a little throttle. Wow, oh, you want to go into second gear? Okay, clutch in, foot goes up in a second. Wow, a little bit of throttle and feather out the clutch. Wow, all right, you guys, I had my fun. Uh, I'm really happy to be out here again. Uh, we're gonna do hold on, we're gonna do one last thing. How fast can you start? I've never tried this on this uh, bike, so we're just gonna goof up. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it some throttle and let go. And we're gonna try to start really fast. Ready? Oh no, it's coming to an end. I gotta slow down. Ah, I need to go into first. Ah, so scary. <laughs> all right i hope this was encouraging for you guys i'm having fun out here it's hot though it is hot actually that reminds me i forgot i have fuel for myself too <laughs> it's so hot i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if this is the first video you guys have seen i typically just ride my bike around uh, just places to the gym and stuff like that and I just ramble on and on and on and on like I am right now about just random stuff that's popping in my brain as I'm writing and it's very hard to follow very incoherent uh, you never know what you're gonna what to expect I never know what to expect <laughs> I surprise myself sometimes and it's not good <laughs> but I have a lot of videos up planning on making tons more and hopefully with new bikes eventually and stuff like that so if that's something you guys are interested in uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel 